Okay, everyone, we're back, and we gotta go through this long desert battle again. A similar type of battle to the one we just got done, what, two or three battles ago? Uh, looking across the enemy formation, we've seen all these guys before. The only new enemy is right here, the Soul Sower. Wow, he does have 43 attack, that is quite high. And when he attacks you, I believe he can inflict you with slow, which lowers your defense and agility. Sarah actually recently just learned slow, but we're probably not really going to be using that too much. Okay, let's just jump in. Take a look at this map real quick. Yep, it's going to be a long fight. Okay, Slade. Right there is fine. Uh, Chester. As you can see, Chester's level 20. As I explained before, I guess I'm gonna try and, uh, get to level 40 before I promote. Why not? I've never promoted at level 40 before, so I don't know really what that's gonna entail, but... Oh well, let's, let's just do it, right? I especially can't wait for Jaha, because Jaha will be gaining that plus one move upon his promotion. That will be really helpful. And yeah, none of these enemies are particularly frightening. Eight. See, we could deal with that. I'll tell you what, though. Bowie, his defense certainly does need to be raised. Peter, Peter, Peter. Let's put Peter over here. I think I'm gonna have Peter and Luke. They make a good team together. We'll have them go take care of that Master Mage up here. And have them work over that way. Uh, luckily, it looks like a lot of these mages are spread out. So Kiwi is not in any danger. I did remember to fix it, right? I did. Okay, let's go ahead and power up Peter. So that he can just get to raffle stomping everyone around here. Oh, come on. Once? That is garbage. Alright, May, whatever. May and Chester probably won't get too much work in. I'm surprised Jaha takes seven. That's an awful lot. Jaha should have good defense. All right, Kazen, uh, we'll have you come down here and... Fuck it, why not? See if you can't get a D-Soul off. Damn you, Kazen! Come on, you scrub! All right, Luke. I guess we'll have Luke uh, go right here and attack this golem. Eleven, not bad, not bad. All right, Slade can attack the gargoyle. Twenty. Oh right, Slade did just get a weapon increase. I was wondering. I was like, wow, that, that's an awful lot. And we'll have Jaha finish this fucker off. Sit down, pussy. Get out of here. Gargoyles are a little outdated by now. Even though this is only the second battle they've been in, there's not much of a threat anymore, it seems like. Um, let's have Bowie take out this golem. Cut their numbers down a little bit. Alright, and Chester can go ahead and switch to a spear and attack the arrow launcher. Still just going for Bowie, huh? Attacking from the grasslands into the desert. 
All right, we can no longer use the powering. That's a goddamn shame. And Peter should be able to finish this guy in one shot. Oh, 39! Jesus, Peter. Slow down, damn. Gargoyle's moving in, huh? Okay, now as far as injuries, Jaha's a little bit hurt. And we do need to heal Bowie. So let's go ahead and do that. Get Bowie back up to snuff here. Black Monk going for Bowie. Not a surprise. Kazen, Kazen. Let's just slowly uh, move towards these guys. You know, I don't think Peter's gonna be in too much trouble just with these three guys alone. I'll send Gerhal up to help Peter, and Luke will follow. But for now, we'll have him attack this Black Monk. Luke and Pe Peter do make a good team. Damn, Slade can't quite reach. Jaha can, though. Alright, Bowie. Anyone else in position? Nope. So let's just take out this Black Monk. And Chester. We'll have him attack the arrow launcher here. Later, fuckboy! Still gives 49 experience, even at level 20. Very nice. Ooh, Peter will take a shot here. This will hurt a little bit since I... Oh, Peter dodges! Oh, no. That sucks for you. Uh, Kiwi is safe, right? There's no MP users. Uh, the Master Mage is a little bit up there. He's not a threat, though. And we need to heal Jaha a little bit. Not bad. Okay, Peter, let's see if you could take this dude out in one hit. I doubt it. Yeah, I figured. The arrow launcher does have a very high defense. The Gargoyles have a hard-on for Jaha. I don't understand. That's so bizarre. That's like earlier on those witches just kept attacking Chester over and over. These Gargoyles seem to have a similar affinity for Jaha. I wonder why that is. And Slade just fucking owned him. Good job, Slade. Slade is really starting to come into his own now. His last weapon upgrade has really made his strength high. 47. Jaha has 44. So Slade is three points stronger than Jaha. That is impressive. We'll send Gerhalt to come help Peter. And Luke as well. Uh, Luke can probably go right here. I believe that Soul Sower at the top is the boss for this fight. Uh, let's have Chester head up this way. Okay, Peter, excellent. Let's go ahead and finish off this arrow launcher. You got a double turn on him. I love that. Double turns are awesome when we're the ones getting them. Ooh, good level up, too. 
There goes Peter's attack bonus. And... I'm gonna go ahead and use up... Ah, eh, there's no reason for that. Yeah, Kiwi can stand right here. Going for Gerhul, all right. Doesn't matter, all three of them are gonna clean you fuckers out. Heal Bowie up. The Soul Sower, we gotta be a little cautious around him. He's definitely much more of a threat than anything else around here. Ooh, 11, huh? Um, nah, I don't quite want to move in just yet. Okay, Luke. Let's go for this bad boy right here. Oh, damn, I was hoping Luke would get a second attack there. Gerholt should be able to finish him off. Get Falcon Punched, bitch! That is what that looks like. A good old uh, Captain Falcon Falcon Punch. Alright, good. Chester does have his Steel Lance equipped. Man, this Soul Sower, the one thing about him is he sure is slow, huh? I want him coming towards us. There he is, okay. And Peter, let's take out this gargoyle. Ooh, so close. Now we should be able to take out the Soul Sower. Oh, he has quite high defense as well. Oh, we got a double attack, though. Sarah, your attack is not very high. 38. I don't believe a Blast 2 would finish him off, either. Let's give it a shot. Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll do 7. Oh, it does! Later, fuckboy! No defense again. That's two levels in a row for Sarah. So we're gonna have to be careful, then. May with her new weapon upgrade, should be able to finish him off nicely. Yep. And the Master Mage <laughs> passes up on the opportunity to hit two people with Blaze 2 so he can do one point of damage to Bowie. Ooh. They sure do get a lot of fucking crits, man. Every time they attack, they get a goddamn crit. Here's Kiwi, who is not really that weak. His strength is pretty high, but... Unfortunately, with this low movement, he's not able to make it in the battle. And Peter, he's fine. Kazen, let's go ahead and throw a blaze on this guy. Doesn't look like it'll be enough to finish him off, though. Oh well. Ooh, level up. Damn it, no defense for Kazen? Come on, man. I'm getting some shitty level ups here. Uh, I bet you if I... Can I heal Peter? No, Luke doesn't have a thing. Luke doesn't have a healing seed. Well, if Peter has one, Luke, Gerhal, and Peter should be strong enough to finish off that soul sower at the top. So I can have them do that. Man, Slade is strong. Holy shit. Gerholt, you do have a healing seed. Chester. 
And let's move Jaha up to fight the Soul Sower as well. Bowie should be able to take this Master Mage out. HP 2, there we go. That's what I love fucking seeing. Bowie especially needs as much health as he can get. And Sarah can go ahead and finish this guy off with Blast 2. Get her another kill. Although we did just steal that from Kiwi, that sucks. But hey, anytime we can add some more kills to Sarah's ledger, we can. Eight kills. I wonder who has the most. Bowie has 37. What does Chester have? 37, exactly. And Peter? 22. So I bet you it's a combination. Bowie and Chester are tied for the lead. Yeah, sure, looks like it. Wow, Jaha has 30. That's more than I thought he would have. And all that's left is this bitch-ass soul sower. Yep. See, he starts out so far away from where you start that by the time he gets over here, all his friends are dead. He has no backup. It's just him by himself. So he, unfortunately, is going to be getting it quite bad. Peter, let's begin the assault. 14, okay. There he goes. He can't resist hitting Bowie. 13. Wow. I am impressed. Soul Sowers are definitely stronger than I give them credit for. Okay, Kiwi, let's see. Can you finish him off? Probably not. Oh, he dodged the motherfucker. Yeah, these guys have quite high defense, so I doubt Kiwi would have been able to finish him off anyway. Yeah, if May is only doing eight. Holy shit. Not everyone is as strong as Peter. And you're dead, bitch. I actually think I'm gonna head back to... Uh, nah, let's just head on. I was gonna go get a healing seed for Gerhalt that we used, but we'll be fine without one. And here's our next destination. This ancient shrine. Oh, you're a scary looking robot. That big guy. Yeah, who the fuck is it, Road? Why don't you tell us? Tauros, the guardian of the ancient shrine. He sure is a big motherfucker. You can tell just by looking at his sprite. Stop right there or I'll attack you. What should we do? Yeah, well, let's beat the fuck out of him, of course. Okay, boom. So we are thrown into a battle in the Toro Shrine here. And we can see there's a green dot up here. That is a caravan. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. We'll just leave this whole Toros battle in one video. So I'll see you guys next time for the Toros boss battle. Later!